Texans who are over 21 can carry handguns in public without a license. Background checks and training are not required for most people in the state. Lax gun laws have earned Texas an F grade from the Giffords Law Center, an organization dedicated to saving lives from gun violence. Kelly Drain, a research director with the Giffords Law Center, explains why Texas has received a bad scorecard. Texas has also been moving, unfortunately, in the wrong direction, passing really dangerous laws that um, that put residents at risk. According to the Giffords Law Center, gun homicides in Texas have risen more than 90 percent from 2011 to 2020. It is too easy for people who want to cause harm to access incredibly lethal weapons. While Drain attributes an increase in gun violence to easy access, Douglas Griffith, the president of the Houston Police Officers Union, says it's because of bail reform. When you have a violent offender that uses a weapon, and is given a little bond and then goes out and commits another felony with a weapon. That shows right there that that's where the gun violence is coming. According to Harris County Crime Stoppers, 177 people have been murdered in the Houston area by felony defendants who were released on bond. He says the courts need to revoke bonds for felony defendants, issue arrest warrants, and bring them to court. He believes that'll take dangerous people off the streets of Texas and lower gun violence numbers. But Drain says bail reform usually doesn't contribute to much more gun violence. Reforming bail policies and allowing people, um, you know, increasing the number of people released pre-trial um, is not associated with, with large scale increase in crime. The solution to gun violence, Drain says, is to pass stronger gun laws. But Griffith says big Texas cities just need to keep dangerous people in jail. In Austin, Charlotte Scott, Capital Tonight.